Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. In this week's tip, I want to show you how to move an item back into the treatment plan if you accidentally post it. I get calls from clients all the time saying, we accidentally posted extra items and I don't want to have to delete it all and re-treatment plan it. What can I do to fix that? So I'm going to show you how to manage that. We'll start by going to our patient list and we'll go ahead and choose our patient, Tara Johnson, and go to her chart. Once we pull up her chart, you'll notice that we've got a bunch of items treatment plan down here at the bottom of the screen. If we go ahead and hide our teeth in the odontogram, we'll be able to see we have several items treatment planned for crowns. We've got exam, bite wings, prophy, and so on. And you can see that our treatment plan is grouped together based on the order in which we had planned to do it. So to start out, I'm going to post a few items and then move it back to the treatment plan. So go to my options menu and click post transactions and I'm going to go ahead and just quickly select the items I want to say that we completed today and you'll notice I'm grabbing a couple seat crown items and if we are actually prepping the crown we are probably not going to be seating it today. So I selected a bunch of items here and I'm going to go ahead and click post selected and when I hit post selected, you notice that these items converted over to completed items. Once they're completed, they've already been sent to the patient's ledger to have a claim created or to collect payment from the patient. So here we have our two crown seats and whoops, we didn't mean to do that. So to move those items back to the treatment plan, instead of deleting them from our options menu and having to re-treatment plan for them, I'm simply going to double click on the item and I'm going to change the status here back to planned. You'll notice that it gives me a treatment planning box over here off to the side that lets me show that's going into treatment plan option one and it's session two of option one. And I'll save my changes. And that seat crown is gone and then we have the seat for number 18. Again, just double click on that item, change it back to a treatment planned item and save your changes. So it's gone from the patient's ledger. If we close the screen to get back to our chart, we'll notice that seat crown number 12 and 18 have converted back to planned items. And if we show our teeth once again, Everything is back to normal and right as rain. I hope this tip of the week has been helpful for you. As always, if you have any additional training questions, please feel free to contact Dentamax at 1-800-704-8494. Thank you.